A car is travelling on a straight line accelerates uniformly from 2 metres per second to 9 metres per second in 10 seconds. It then travels at 9 metres per second for 16 seconds before slowing uniformly to rest at 12 seconds. A. Sketch a velocity time graph for the car and B. Calculate the average speed of the car. So if we draw the graph, we're going to need nine, at least 9 on the vertical scale and we're going to need up to about 38 on the horizontal uh, car. Now for the first 10 seconds, so 10 will be there on my graph and it starts at 2 and it gets to 9 where that is 10. It then travels uh, at a constant speed for 16. So 10 plus 16 is 26. So 26 is there. So horizontal straight line to 26. And then in the last 12 seconds, so that will be to 38, 26 plus 12 is 38. It will uh, begin to slow. So this will be deceleration here. Right, so that is the velocity time graph for this car. Then to find the average speed, part B, average speed is the total distance travelled divided by the total time. Now, the distance travelled on a velocity time graph is given by the area underneath the graph. So I'm going to split the area up into A and B. And then I'm going to treat this one here as a trapezium, where these are the two parallel sides. So that will be... 2, because that length is 2, plus 9, that length is 9, time divided by 2 times the height here, which will be 9, uh, sorry, 10, because this time is 10, beg your pardon. And then I'm going to treat this as a trapezium. So that will be 28, uh, 38 minus 10, and then this is 16, divided by 2 times the height of 9, and that will give me 253 meters. So the average speed will be the total distance, which is 253, divided by the total time, which is 38, which gives me a speed of 6.657, which is 6.66 meters per second. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to sketch a velocity time graph and use it to calculate the average speed. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.